Hi programmers, uh, in this video we're going to add those two columns to the data grid view for the hours and minutes and I'll show you what it's going to look like first. And there's quite a number of steps you got to go through and it's a good thing I did it in advance because I had errors that I had to figure out what I'd done. So, you know, now we've got this hour column and this minute column, okay? And you can click. And what I did was I went in and had to comment out all the um, code for on the cell click, otherwise you get errors because I did not feel like adding the code for those two fields since we're gonna delete most of that out anyway. So for now I just commented it. But anyway, first thing you do is up here at the top of the program where you have this create seg data grid, we added two more fields. Uh, an hour column and a minute column. And what I did was I just copied this in out column and I changed the names to like HR for hour and MIN for minute. And you got to remember this says like hour column name and all this. You got to remember to change those two or it uh, will give you problems. And then the next thing we did was uh, we went into this, our SEGS class that we created. We had to add these too. I added underneath the, I added a hours and a minute um, string. And then we passed them to them. I passed the hours and the minute. And then in here you have to add the hour and the minute. And then on the properties you have to create these hours and minute properties too. Okay. And if you're going to copy from like in out or anything, remember that this is a string and not a character. And then, what did we do? We went back here um, to code. And down here, uh, where we get hours and segs, when we uh, create this um, array list, I borrowed some code from the cell click. And uh, oh, I guess we're not going to need these because we're not using that text box. Ready. Delete. I calculated what the uh -oh, hours and minutes would be. And added that to the array list underneath uh, the in out. And, um, hmm. So, and it seems to work. Come, this was a convert. Okay, I don't have that. Okay, it seemed to work for us. And then, when I ran to test it, I had errors, and that was because of this code down here in seg data grid view click, because the columns and stuff did not match anymore. So I just commented that out. And, um, So, this is, you know, you already saw it once. And I did, you know, the, the last video, we, t uh, we added that to the add seg because it um, didn't work. I mean, because it wasn't refreshing. So, we'll add one, and I'll show you it does refresh. Number eight. Now let's go back on here, special hours. Uh, we've already done that. Let's go to two. We're going to side ground. Is that the second Groundhog's Day? I can't remember. Well, we're going to side that's a holiday. Create records. Let's see. So, there they are. Now, let's see. Number eight here that I just added. Let's delete him. Delete. You sure you want to delete eight? Yes. There it worked for us. Okay. Well, that's all on this video. Next time we'll get on the really hard stuff. Alrighty.